Hey now, in this video I'm going to share with you what I would do if I was a beginner songwriter again in 2024. What are the steps that I would take to make sure that I was writing great songs that had great impact, that I absolutely loved, but also people all around absolutely loved. And also then what would I do to actually go on and monetize my music? These are the exact steps that you should need to take if you are at the beginning stages of your journey or maybe you're a little bit further along but you're feeling a little bit stuck and you don't know what the missing piece is. We're going to dive into that right now. Now my name is Danny Boyle, I'm the founder of Songwriters International. If you're a songwriter who wants to develop their craft, their lyrics, their melodies, their structures and wants to have millions of people hear their music then you're in the right place. Now I've also got a completely free training in the description below where I walk you through my entire A to Z process to how I songwrite but also then how I pitch those songs to global artists. So if you want to learn that stuff then go ahead and watch that in the description register and go through and watch. Now we're going to get straight into this and I want to walk you through the steps that I would be taking if I was starting my journey again. Now I've been writing for well over 10 years and there's things I've learned, mistakes I've made that I don't want you to make and I want to save you that time and effort. So let's dive into this. Now first thing first, I really want you to understand what you're songwriting for. Clearly define what is the reason that you are songwriting because I speak to so many songwriters and they're super unclear on this. Yes, you absolutely love writing songs. I appreciate that. So do I. I absolutely love it. But what do you want to do after that? Is your purpose of songwriting solely just to be a hobbyist? You write songs after work, on your weekends, you enjoy the process, but you have no real desire for these songs to really do anything. And maybe you want to release them, but you have no desire whether they hit a million plays or two million or five million. If they get listened to by five people, then you are super, super happy. Then that's absolutely fine. Then for you, if you're just writing songs for enjoyment and no real desire for them to do anything, then just do what you do. Enjoy the process, have fun, and just write songs that come naturally to you. But if you fall into the latter, which is a songwriter who actually wants to do something with their songs, yes, you're writing for enjoyment, but you would love to see these songs either released by yourself, amassing millions of plays, and changing people's lives, including yours, or you want to have other people release your songs and you be the songwriter and you be credited, then awesome then you need to make sure that you're writing songs with that in mind, okay? Don't be writing songs from a super self-centered place because if it's all about you and it's not very relatable to other people around the world, then that goal of having millions of people to resonate with your songs, the truth is it's gonna become very, very difficult because you're writing from a place of just you, a place of honesty from you, but if it becomes too much about you and a song that is not relatable to other people and maybe it doesn't even follow trends of your current space. So if you're writing let's say pop music, okay, it's a very simple example, but pop music is continually evolving. One day it's all about melodies and post-chorus hooks and the next it's about storytelling lyrics. It's continually evolving and changing. So again, if your goal is to write, let's say, pop music, or if it's country music, rock music, go and look what the trends are in that current genre at that moment in time that you're writing songs. Because you need to make sure that you're keeping up to date with your marketplace and your genre if your desire is for your songs to actually be successful and heard by the masses, which is millions of people. So now that you've clearly defined what you're actually songwriting for, what is the purpose that you're doing this for, either as a hobbyist, just enjoyment, or you want to take this serious and monetize and release and all of those exciting things, the second thing I really, really would be diving into and something that I didn't do at the beginning is collaboration. Collaboration is the backbone of great songs. Now, from my personal experience, I always find that I tend to write better songs in a collaborative environment with one, two, three other songwriters because you're constantly pushing one another. You have someone else to stop you. So if you put forward an idea that you would normally have put down in your song by yourself, but you've got someone else to say, well, hold on, let's actually push that lyric a little bit further. Let's push that melody melody a little bit more. What about trying this or what about doing this? 
you're gonna grow naturally because someone is pushing you to achieve more. And also on a side note, it really pushes you forward as a songwriter because you're writing with other people. So you're conscious of putting forward ideas that you don't think are good enough. You push them that little bit further. You tweak the lyric, you try the melody before you present it, which is only gonna help you get better. If you're looking for collaboration, you don't have any collaborative partners right now, then look for free groups online or go ahead and drop a comment below and say that you're open to collaboration. And I'm sure those that are seriously minded, those that actually want to succeed, will want to work with you if you're showing that intent. The next thing that's really important that I see a lot of beginner songwriters making the mistake of, even intermediate, even advanced songwriters, is that they songwrite first, plan second. Now I would suggest for you to reverse that process. I would say plan first, songwrite second. Don't pick up a guitar, don't go to the piano, don't produce, don't go to lyrics, don't go to melody, until you've got super, super clear on what you're trying to deliver. Let's put it like this. If you're driving a car, would you get in the car knowing that you don't know where you're going, so you don't know the route that you need to take to get to the place that you want to? Would you get in the car and just hope that you're gonna to get to the location? Or would you dial in the maps on your phone or on a, on a piece of paper or on your laptop and clearly define the roads and the turns that you're gonna take when you get there. Now to that question I'm sure you're answering, well of course I would dial it in on my phone. It would give me the route that I need to take and it would get me there. Well songwriting is no different. Do that, plan. Plan, 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 songwrite second because it's gonna save you so much time. It's gonna help you overcome the arch enemy of songwriting which is writer's block. It's gonna help you finish more songs and it's also gonna help you deliver a song to the listener that makes more sense, that makes more sense to you is easier to write, as I say, but also has a greater chance of resonating with millions of people because you've got super clear on the message that you're trying to deliver because you've planned it out, you've structured it, and you haven't just got your way through the song and hoped for the best. You're not using guesswork, you're using a structure. Finally, the other thing that I would do and really encourage you to do if I was starting back out again is feedback. Song feedback on the songs that you're writing right now. And not just feedback by friends or family or, you know, musician friends that you've met around you that are on a similar level to you. I mean people who are ahead of you. To give an example of me, I got a songwriting mentor who had done millions of plays, had millions of record sales and I was able to send them songs. And they were able to come back to me and tell me everything that I didn't know so I could improve my process because they were far ahead of me. I was here, they were up there, they knew everything that I was missing that needed to get me to where I needed to be. So if you're missing those things, like how do I write you know, great storytelling lyrics? Or why is my melody not strong enough? Or why is my structure like this? What my production doesn't sound quite right? All of those questions that you might be asking yourself in the process. Well, just getting feedback on your songs from someone else who is ahead of you is gonna eliminate all of those things because you're gonna get the answers. So think about it, it's gonna save you so much time along the journey and you're gonna be able to then to write better songs in a quicker space of time, which is gonna allow you then to get to your goals quicker, which is get millions of plays, have millions of people all around the world hear your music. So those are the things that I would do if I was a beginner songwriter again in 2024. Like I said, I've been writing many, many years now, made many mistakes, and those are the things that I really suggest to you to dive into, get straight into, and understand for your career to get you moving forwards at a quicker pace and actually get you where you need to be. As I mentioned before, we've got a completely free training where I walk you through my A to Z process on songwriting itself and then how I actually go about pitching those songs to global artists. So if you wanna watch that, hit the link in the description, register for the training on the next page, and then go ahead and watch that. And I'd love to share it with you if you're at that place where you're on your starting part of the journey, or maybe you're a little bit further along, that could really help you. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button somewhere on or around this video, and then drop a comment below and a like. I would love to hear from you for any other videos that you'd like to see, and I'll see you again on another video.